seen them running around a beach and now they're running around the entire UK. The drums are the newest indie sensation who rocketed to renown with the whistle-laden party tune Let's Go Surfing. Rising from the ashes of little-known band Elkland, Jonathan Pearce and Jacob Graham recruited two new members, Adam and Connor, back in 2008 to form a new group. The Brooklyn-based rockers have been hotly tipped to be the band of 2010, a prospect that has them delirious with excitement. Uh, it's exciting. I don't know. Who can say? Well, maybe not delirious then, but still. Despite missing out on a nomination this year, the drums nonetheless kicked off the Enemy Awards tour this week alongside Bombay Bicycle Club, The Big Pink and The Maccabees. It's our first like proper tour. Um, we've, just, we've mostly played New York City, um, almost exclusively, so this is kind of our first taste of being on the road together. <laughs> Not yet having released a full album though, the drums have been fairly universally pigeonholed as beach pop, something the band themselves aren't overly keen on. I think we're, you know, we'd like to call ourselves rock and roll um, with pop, pop at sort of the, the heart of the whole thing. But uh, yeah, I, I think that beach thing sort of gets uh, attached to us because we had the, our first single is called Let's Go Surfing, so it's a, you know, you can obviously see how that would happen, but um, you know, it's kind of the only song that mentions surfing. And our yeah. full length is, you know, the, the EP was sort of we called it summertime. We wanted it to be really blatant and, and obvious, um, but the full length is definitely um, a, a departure from that. It's still very much the drums, but it's it is a much more uh, darker, more serious, somber side of the drums. I think. Yeah, we're sort of hoping to shake off the whole beach. So there you have it. We may now know who the drums are, but we don't yet know all they're capable of.